Hey guys, uh, just doing something a little bit differently today. I've already thoroughly reviewed the TD-01 um, and so I thought I'd just stand outside. just saves me time, all the editing that I do. Uh, just go over the modes um, out here uh, and then I'll get the TD-01 to compare it against the TD-01C. Um, so I'll just... Oh, so that's our moonlight level there. That's not actually in the manual. It's not even specified at all. Um, so the TD-01, I'll just grab it, um, the lowest level is Echo on it, so that is the lowest level on the left of the TD-01, and that's the moonlight level of the TD-01C. So that is very nice to have, but it has got some bugs, uh, which we'll go over. So if you are last on high and you go into moonlight level, which you hold the side switch and click the rear switch, gets you to the moonlight. Um, if you do one click, it goes straight to your memorized level. It doesn't cycle up through levels, which is annoying. Uh, the other annoying thing is that they need a fix is double click does not get you turbo from moonlight. It gets you strobe. So that's a bit weird. So double click, it's a strobe. And then you, know, you click off that and uh, it gets your memorized level and then it drops down to eco so moonlight's not in the rotation at all so here yeah, you can't see, there's a tree about 50 meters away i can't see it with the moonlight but i'd say probably say 15 meters away i could see it with it it's quite all right so go to eco level here so 50 meters for that tree i'm going to move over to the right which is uh, about 95, 100 meters. So put, kick it up on low. So good visibility of that tree, 100 meters. Yeah, pretty good. So medium over on the shed here. Uh, so that's 250 meters away. And uh, scan it over the trees a bit. Down at the driveway. So a neighbor's drain digger down there. At the beginning of the year we had a massive cyclone and it washed out some bridges. So a neighbor, a neighbor bought a couple of culvert pipes for dad, big concrete pipes. And uh, you know, helping him fix up one of our bridges. So pretty nice of the guy. Um, yeah, so what was that? I think it was medium. So that's high mode there. A very good visibility at 250 meters up at the house there 460 meters yeah you know, it's okay more you know you can more see the houses because they're a lighter color reflecting more light back at you but around on the grass area not not so much so turbo double click so a little jump up there you know again not massive you know, good visibility around on the grass there. Maybe zoom it in if you had a, like a, a gun scope or uh, some binoculars, you'd be able to see a bit better, but not, not so much from standing here. So this uh, wall shed is about 510 meters. And again, you know, okay, you know, you can see the building, but not real strong for um, on that track there, on the driveway leading up to it. You know, Still pretty pretty impressive though. That's all very good. So I'll just get bring it over to the left and those trees up there are you know about four hundred meters. And again, it's a you know you can see that they're there, but you know, living on the farm I wouldn't be able to identify any animals or anything at this at this range. You know, but again, you know, through binoculars you'd you'd be able to make something out. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. So I'm just going to get the TD-01 now. We'll just go through the modes uh, together. So uh, we've got the TD-01 on the left and TD-01C on the right here. So they're about, about the same level uh, for that. I think they're about the same lumen levels. Um, so this tree, 100 meters. So let's put them up to low. So yes, they're the same. Can't really tell the difference. Probably at, at range. Yeah, if we move over to the shed here. So go. Let's go medium. So remember TD01 on the left, TD01C on the right. 
Uh, it's about the same. It's actually probably a little bit brighter on the TD01C actually, surprisingly. I haven't actually looked at the specs and, and compared them yet. Just come outside. So let's go onto high. Actually, let's go up to the house. House there. So actually looks bright on the TD01C. It's interesting. Yeah, definitely brighter on the on the C version. Let's go to uh, let's go to turbo. Mm, yeah, it's definitely a bit brighter on the turbo on the on the TD01. Let's go over to the wall shed. Yeah, just a bit brighter, bit brighter, but not much. Yeah, so I'll just cycle through the levels here. So that's the TD01 here. So eco, low, medium, high, turbo. That's that one. So I'll turn that off. So yeah, so you got your eco. Low, medium, high. Ah. Eco, low, medium, high, and turbo. Yeah, so that's. So the next thing uh, I want to do is I'm going to uh, turn the video off and I come back after 10 minutes and I'll leave them on and uh, we'll just have a, have a good comparison of how well they do at that time for the sustainable output. So right now we're at uh, two minutes two and a half minutes here so left is the TD01 and you can hardly make out that shed now at 510 meters you know, only just and it's the TD01C so it's still holding a very good output there so you can quite see it quite well so it's a big difference in the sustainable output so it's the house there 460 meters yeah, a huge difference. I really hope Workos is able to, to see how much better using a regulated buck driver is, what the, the benefit is. This is such good light. Massive difference. So yeah, we'll come back and uh, come back at uh, about six minutes. So now we're back at uh, about six minutes in and we'll just go over the ranges again. So 50 meters to that tree. So TD01C on the right. So over here at the tree. So 100 meters. Still, still, you know, not as much of a difference now. Um, but still still something so 250 meters then yeah that's quite a bit more when you're shining it at a distance up at the house there so kind of just making it out up there 460 meters and that one you know still quite good visibility so a big difference actually at a range uh 510 meters up there at the shed the wool shed and it's only you're only just making it out TD01C still able to see that quite good you can see that there's a, a building up there with this one you're kind of struggling to see what's up there let's just try over at the what is it 400 meters here at the trees you know that's you know you can kind of see that they're there you know probably more so that I know that they're there rather than just scanning around an area that you're unfamiliar with and the TD01C, yeah, so you can make out trees even if it was a new area. So yeah, way, way better. Uh, I'll, I'm, after they uh, iron out the bugs on this, um, on the TD01C, uh, I'll probably stock it in my New Zealand store. Uh, it's just uh, it's a very good light, very, very good light. 
Uh, the only other issue that I discovered with it is that on low battery, uh, when it drops down, it starts to do like a strobe or a flicker, and it's um, it's just very annoying. You know, if you're out in the bush or and you didn't have a spare battery on you, and it just all of a sudden drops down, and and all you've got left is a strobe, it's just going to be absolutely horrible. So they definitely need to fix that. Yep, so yeah, I um, hope you guys liked the video and uh, let me know if you want to see more videos a bit like this. Um, but yeah, alright, take care guys, hope you have a great Christmas and a good New Year.